right guys, Matt from TNM Product Reviews. Uh, coming back at you with some more reviews on the range or battle belt. Um, so last video we went over the belt itself, the Condor belt. Um, this time we're going to go over a couple more of the components. Um, we're not going to go over everything, just cover a couple at a time, get through it. Um, the trauma kit that's on the back of this is actually going to get a separate review just because of how in depth it's going to be. Um, so for this review we're going to go over the mag pouches and the dump pouch here that are on the belt. So we'll start off with the mag pouch. These are going to be um, two separate pouches. So I have a double mag pouch or double pistol mag pouch and a single AR pouch. So these are both from STAC. Um, the, pistol, the pistol mags are uh, double and they are they're a double mag, so they're, if you can see there, they're, they're sewn together in the middle. Uh, they're hooked up with the malice clips. Um, the mags themselves, you can get them for, they fit single or double stack in the same mag, so, or in the same pouch. So I carry a Smith & Wesson shield. It's the mags I had around. So if you can actually see right here is Kydex. Um, so these are nylon and Kydex holsters um, so there's actually I think they call it quickie there's a wedge it's a kydex wedge K Y W I K Y W I so it's a kydex wedge down inside here that actually pinches against the mag when you put it in that holds it in place it's got good retention um, and it's the same thing for the AR mag this one might be a little easier to actually see down in there maybe hold on let me get a light for you Alright, so if you actually look down in there, you can see how it's kind of misshaped a little bit right here, how it kind of risen. So that's actually the, the Kydex wedge that is inside these holsters, or pouches, mag pouches, um, that actually locks on. It, it, there's no full locking mechanism, but it, it just puts retention on them. Um, so they're good pouches, they're solid, they're sturdy. Um, the double pistol pouch, mag pouch, is going to run you right around $35.50, um, depending on where you get it from. Now it's for the multi-cam with no attachment options. You can buy it with um, WTH attachments, and maybe malice clips, something like that. I ordered mine without any attachment options because I had the extra malice clips at home. Uh, the AR mag pouch, this is the low cut. You can get it in medium and high. Uh, low cut retails for right around $24 with the front webbing. So this does have PALS webbing on the front here where you can technically attach something else to it. Um, but yet again, that's with no attachment point for the back. I have those mouse clips in the back. So that is, those are the STAC uh, AR-15 mag pouch. Now the AR-15 mag pouch does not fit any other mags. It will not fit an AK-47 mag. It will not fit an AR-10 mag if I'm not mistaken. Um, it is for AR-15 specifically 5.56, maybe 300 blackout if you're lucky. Um, I don't actually know 100%. So that's, like I said, those are the STAC mag pouches. And we're going to move around here. So I get my information up so I don't get you anything wrong. So the next part, or the next thing on coming around my belt, right behind the mag pouches, is another Condor product. Let me get this belt pulled up here. So this here is going to be the Condor roll-up pouch. So it's actually just a giant, up here a little bit. Just a big old dump pouch, um, but it rolls up, folds up real nice and tight so that. It's not just hanging all the time. Some some people like the dump pouch. It doesn't roll up. It just stays open. Um, I like this one because if I'm not using it, I want it out of my way. Uh, so this one here, it's cheap. It retails at like fourteen dollars. It's thirteen seventeen, I believe, is the actual retail cost. Um, holds six thirty round AR mags, so you can get fit, you can fit six of these down inside of this. Um, Size wise right now as it's unfolded is eight inches wide and eight and a half inches long. And then if we 
just roll, whoop, let me pull the lid back out of it here. So if you roll it back up, and you can get it as tight as you can, the dimensions here, it's five inches high, four and a half inches wide, um, and it has that hook and loop to secure it shut. It also has a pull strap, the elastic straps with the clips, uh, or not clips, but the, uh, I guess you'd call them clips, whatever you want to call them, uh, little ten or retaining devices here for the, the bungee strap. That'll actually pull the top of it shut. Um, some people might know it as like for chalk bags for climbing. Um, you can, you have these as well. You pull it shut so you, your chalk doesn't come out. Kind of the same thing if you're out there, you're running around, you throw mags in there, rip that cord, pull it tight, then your mags aren't going to flop out and fly everywhere. Um, color wise, you're looking at this here is the coyote brown, obviously. You can get an OD green and black as well. Um, it does normally come with two pre built Molly clips on the back. Um, so it has pals or Molly webbing on the back. If I open this up here. So if you look right here is where the straps actually used to be. I cut them off and ran my own malice clips through it just because it made it fit a little nicer. Um, I don't know why I cut a lot of my clips off for malice clips. They're just simple. So that's going to be the Condor roll up pouch. Uh, last thing we're going to go over here real quick. Might as well just flip to the other side since we're doing pouches. This here is the 511 radio pouch. Um, just your basic run of the mill radio pouch. I have a ham radio in it right now. Let me see if I can open it up here. Actually switch up here as well. So I just had a basic ham radio sitting down inside of it. So this is, like I said, this is the 511 radio pouch retail and this is $19.99. This is built out of 100% nylon. Um, it is N500D for the body itself. And then the bottom is gonna be 1550D for the base. Um, it does have a water drainage hole on the bottom and the um, kangaroo straps, elastic straps, whatever you want to call them for retention. And on the back, one of the only ones I didn't cut the clips off of, or the straps off of, but it does come with two uh, molly straps so you can wet, or you can feed it through your webbing and then they snap here at the bottom. Nothing fancy on that. Um, obviously following the theme, it's the only thing that doesn't follow the theme on this belt is the belt itself and the dump pouch. But that's gonna be the 511 radio pouch. All right guys, check back on the channel for more updates on some of the other products I have on the belt here. Later.